a little bit about those things. And regarding face of the franchise, our players wanted to see an NFL draft experience, kind of like what's going on. Right. So you'll see on one of these screens right here, what's really great is uh, you're going into the NFL uh, draft sequence right here. You're in the green room. You know, your player's a little bit nervous. Represent the Texas Longhorns. Go Horns. And uh, hasn't whoa, finished that whoa. cheeseburger right there. So. It is. It, it's still Los Angeles. The Rose Bowl from a couple of years ago. It's still looming large, though. <laughs> so be cool with that. Well, listen, don't get mad at me. Just stop Vince Young. <laughs> all right. So here's the thing. So, what, so this is all awesome. I love the detail there. Once you get drafted, uh, what, you're now in franchise mode and all that stuff. And I hear the Pro Bowl is coming back, too. What else should Madden fans know? Yeah, so it's really cool. The Pro Bowl is back in Madden 20. When you're going to go ahead and install the game, you're going to be able to play the Pro Bowl, get your hands on those superstar X factors, play with them a little bit. But our franchise players are one to see more about the scenario engine. And we're going to go show a little bit about that. Now, the scenario engine, what it does, it, it brings dynamic quests, kind of dynamic challenges into the game that help you improve your player and their ratings week to week. So that's pretty awesome. But you said it earlier, people want to see more about gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and talk about gameplay. Is there a blog where they can check all that stuff out too? Yes, there is. We've written quite a few blogs. We have uh, Gridiron Notes, which you can go ahead and search the web. You'll find those. But we also have a franchise deep dive blog that details everything out coming to franchise in Madden 20. Okay, for all the play callers and armchair coaches, uh, what else can they look forward to? You know, like real estate, it's like location, location, <laughs> location. People want playbooks, playbooks, playbooks. Of course. Now, this year in Madden 20, we're having RPOs coming into the game, which Ooh. are run-pass options, which is great. Uh, but not just that, but our players have been asking for new formations. So right here, we have out of the Raiders playbook, a unique formation, which, has, which is actually called double, uh, single back double, off close, and what's great about this is a PA sweep uh, play we've got going on right here, which is absolutely great. Our players are excited about that, but what I'm excited about is that throughout the course of the season, we're gonna go ahead and evolve those playbooks, and as things happen in the NFL, we're gonna bring that stuff to the NFL. Yeah, I see the one Derek Carr fan out there was very excited to see that Raiders playbook, and I know that we've got a lot of, oh, I'm sorry, two Raider fans. Wear a jersey next time. I can't identify you without it. It's okay, listen. I'm talking to Israel, though. Here's the thing. Now, we've got a lot of Madden Ultimate Team fans in the house. Am I right? Yeah, yeah right? Awesome. They want to know more about the content that you're going to be bringing to the table. Tell us a little bit more about those Ultimate Missions. Yeah, so Ultimate Missions are great. A lot of times our Madden Ultimate Team players, when they log into the game, they're always trying to find the most up-to-date content. So one of the things this year that we're trying to do is provide them kind of a guide, an information hub, so then when they log in, they're not spending all that time looking in different areas. They can get the player items that they want for their team to make the best squad possible. Hey, 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 I heard that. So one of the things uh, that's absolutely great, let's say Khalil Mack has an amazing yeah, game on Sunday. You know, you log into Madden, As you always. log into Madden Ultimate Team, you want to be able to find it. So basically, we're going to go ahead and provide you that information guide, that step-by-step -step process, so you can get that item on your team. Now, the Khalil Mack fan sitting here loves hearing that. The guys, the two Raider fans over here, not so much, whatever. We appreciate what soon. you guys, I know, that's talking about the Rose Bowl <laughs> being too soon. Yeah, we love the Raiders. I love John Gruden, what he's done for our team. Now, the most thing that, the thing that I'm most excited for, though, is the superstar X-Factor abilities. These make the superstars, you know, play like superstars. And you're, you're going to give us a little bit of a reveal in some of these abilities? Yeah, so our players have been asking us to go ahead and talk about these superstar X-Factors. Uh, the first one we're going to reveal is Alvin Kamara, which is great. Is he has in-zone abilities. He also has superstar abilities, and we're going to go ahead and take a look right here. What's cool about his zone ability is called Satellite. You've, you've heard of Satellite back, right? I know what it is. Yeah, okay. Thank so, you. yeah, I mean, these guys but are... explain it for everybody else. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I mean, you know, you guys have seen the tape. Out of the backfield, Kamara's a deep threat as a wide receiver, uh, as a receiver. It's crazy. He's absolutely amazing out of the backfield, but he also has superstar abilities. So those superstar abilities are matchup nightmare. So basically, you're going to go ahead and have better opportunities to go ahead and catch the ball against linebackers and DBs, and also better Ooh. route running. I mean, he's, he's absolute beast. And he also has running back apprentice. What running back apprentice actually does for him is that it allows him to have four additional hot routes anytime and pre-play adjustments. Love that. Now, listen. Everybody who knows me knows I'm kind of a dumb guy. So can you explain the difference 
between zone abilities and superstar abilities? Yeah, so for zone abilities, we talked about satellite. So what, uh, what's going to happen is in-game, you're going to go ahead and get some in-game objectives on how to go ahead and get your player in the zone. And, you know, Clint's going to talk a little bit here about don't, how don't you're going to be able to thunder. knock them out of the zone. But the thing is, is that superstar abilities, what that's going to allow you to do is that it's, it's, they're always available, they're always on, and not just that, but it brings like a unique, authentic feel to that specific player. So with Kamara, one of the things that we were actually showing right there is that it's going to allow him to go ahead and do some amazing things out of the backfield. It's just another level of authenticity. It's what's everything. Totally. I mean, our players have been asking this for a long time. They want the players to feel like NFL superstars when they're on the field, and we want to give that to them. Okay, now to help us get even more down and dirty and some of those details on X-Factor abilities, I want everybody right now, this is serious, put your hands together because Joining us here on the stage here in just a moment is one of the best wide receivers on the planet from the Pittsburgh Steelers from the University of Southern California, a hardcore Madden fan. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way in the back, give it up for Juju Smith-Schuster. It is. The crowd loves Man. Juju, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Juju! You guys, oh my goodness. You know what, thank you so much for coming out. We always appreciate you taking the time and, and interacting with the community and everything. How are you enjoying your time here at EA Play? I'm loving it. It's awesome. It's a blessing to be here. You see the fans, the Stoller fans. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> I was here last year and uh, it was an amazing setup. And to come back again, no question. And you know, when I heard about Madden 20, I heard pa about Pat Mahomes being on the cover and that whole X Factor thing, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Now, you, may, you had a monster year once again. You know, you're obviously one of the best players in the league. Kind of go through the thought process. When you're on the field, you're in zone, you see single coverage. What are you thinking? When I see that one-on-one, -on -one, it's the opportunity of me getting the ball, you know, knowing that the defense is coming and the quarterback has to put the ball a lot faster. And all I can think in my head is, like, catch the ball, get yak yards, score touchdowns, celebrations, and pretty much in my head, I'm just like, wow, like, let's make a play, big plays. And you make big plays. You, you, you had a 97-yard reception, or did you have two? Yeah, two. Oh, you had two of them. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sell you short. Now, in addition to getting all those yak yards, you're also known for wrestling away those jump balls, so it's no surprise to me that your zone ability is double me. Is it cool if we take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, so what you guys are going to see right here, with Juju, like you, Juju said, once he gets in that single coverage and he is in the zone, oh. there is no stopping him. Oh. The only way that you're going to be able to stop him is to go ahead and double cover him. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's a new meta to the game. If you want to stop Juju, you got to double cover him. Well, first of all, you can't stop him. Let's just put that out there right now. What did you think? Do you think we nailed it? What do you think? That's awesome. That's crazy. Uh, that's definitely something I, you know, I see myself doing, you know. The double coverage, especially this year, uh, it's going to be super exciting. And I just can't wait, you know, having an X Factor. I can't wait to, you know, use it in the game, use myself in the game. And are you ready to check it out? Are you excited to start playing? Super excited. All right. Well, you're in luck because we've got Madden 20 playable right here at EA Play. You and Agent K can go try it out. Agent K, is there any way that our fans at home can maybe try this out as well? Well, you know, I think a lot of people that are here um, are going to get a chance to go ahead and check out our closed open, uh, sorry, our closed beta that's going to be happening for Madden 20. Um, it's going to be happening on June 14th to the 16th, but I, I believe over at the Madden booth, we're giving out some codes. Uh, you guys may have seen it, so if you haven't checked it out, go over to the booth. Uh, there's going to be a blog up. I believe Man of the People, Z Farls, is going to go ahead Ooh. and uh, be talking about that, putting out, check out our social channels. All that information is there. I brought a couple of codes here for Juju. We're going to give Juju some codes as well. Uh, we're also going to be sharing on social channels. Check that out. A lot of great information. You want some, Adam? Do you mind? Are you sure? All right, here you, you go. But no, it's actually Hold on. awesome. I'll talk <laughs> but not just that, but we're going to work with Juju. He's going to be giving out codes on his channel. So again, tune into our social channels. All the information there about the closed beta happening on June 14th to June 16th. But since you're here, you guys can grab it early, download it, and get ready for June 14th. All right. Thank you so much for coming out. Israel, Juju, go play the game. Awesome. Go play the game. Give it a round of applause. Juju. <laughs> Juju Smith-Schuster, there he goes, handing out those codes. I don't know that you're going to get those back. I don't know if he's going to. All right. Well, Juju's going to go get a taste. 
of what Madden 20 is all about. But don't, don't go anywhere, guys, because we've got even more Madden 20 gameplay to show you right now. Because please welcome to the stage our senior gameplay designer, Clint Oldenburg. Put it together, everybody. Keep it going. Good to see you. How are you doing? Wonderful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for being here. Now we've seen those X Factor abilities, but I want to dig a little bit deeper. Tell me a little bit more about how they impact gameplay. That's a great question. I'm going to follow it with a question for you first. Okay. And I'm trusting you to give me the right answer. You got it. What are some reasons you like to watch football? I like yelling at my fantasy players. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, yeah. Anything else? Oh, you know what? I like watching superstars play like superstars. When you have somebody like Juju Smith-Schuster, I want to see him make some big plays. That's exactly right. And sorry that you have to follow it, by the way. That <laughs> yeah, was, that was a that hard was assignment, tough looking, man. by the way. That was a really hard assignment. Trevor Noah, Juju, and now Clint. Hey. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, give it up. Yeah, so you mentioned superstars. The NFL is such a star-driven league. Madden is no different. We set out with a creative vision this year to make our stars feel like stars. So we created this ability system known as Superstar X Factors. These abilities are going to bring authentic skills that make these guys feel unique and powerful so that every individual game is unique and game plan differently. And that's what it's all about, authenticity. And that's great that you guys take that extra level of realism. Can we see some more X Factors in action? Can we, you know, we talked about Mahomes at the start of the show. I'd love to see him go out there and do his thing if that's possible. Yeah, we got, we got some cool stuff to show you here with Patrick Mahomes, our cover athlete. Bazooka is his zone ability. Now, to get into the zone, you have to do an in-game objective. With Mahomes, you have to complete four passes of 30 yards or more. And once you get inside the zone, denoted there by his X-Factor icon, he can throw the ball further than anyone else in the game. His max pass distance has increased about 15 yards to about 80. You can bomb the thing. <laughs> Everybody's oohing and eyeing. I mean, that's what we see on Sunday. Now, you talked about the air yards. It's got to be air yards, right? Not dump off Correct. Damian Williams. Exactly. Four passes of 30 yards or more, that's traveling in the air 30 yards. So the rack yards don't count. And this all makes sense because obviously Mahomes has a hell of an arm, but can all quarterbacks make throws like that or is this just exclusive to him? Bazooka is exclusive to Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he's got the big arm. He's on record as throwing an 83-yard pass. We may be selling him a little bit short. But a little this, bit. This is not a gimmick ability. These things are inspired by, the, by their real-life skills that make them special. So that's his zone ability. Does he have any others? Yes, he also has superstar abilities. As an, X, as an X Factor, one of our better X Factors, he has a zone ability and then superstar abilities. We're going to break down his loadout here, right here. Uh, we got Escape Artist first. And as everyone knows, he's a dual threat quarterback. Escape Artist gives him elite agility and speed when scrambling on passing <laughs> plays. Looks okay. like Mahomes, right? It's yeah, it does. Unfortunately. I mean, that's what he does. And then Dashing Deadeye gives him perfect passing accuracy when throwing on the run. So it's a nice little combo there. Perfect passing accuracy is the best accuracy you can have in our game. And then here's the red zone. Yeah, red zone Deadeye. If you watched him last year, you know he was deadly in the red zone. When he's inside the 20-yard line, again, perfect passing accuracy. Lastly, no look Deadeye. I'm really excited about this one. He's going to have perfect accuracy. The only quarterback in the game at launch to have perfect accuracy on crossbody throws. Exclusive oh. to him is the no-look signature Mahomes That's animation. That's his signature look. That's exactly what he does every Sunday, and everybody gets upset about it. And this is the thing, though. I know Mahomes, I get it. He plays like a star. But come on, this is kind of a lot. Is he unbeatable? Is there, if I'm on the other side of the ball, like, what can I do to stop him? Man, you must play Madden, because that's yeah. a question our players are, yeah, are going to want to know. It's, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's a chess match. So just like in the NFL, the way to shut down a high-powered passing game is pass rush. The defense is going to have knockout conditions when these guys are in the zone. You're going to see here Mahomes with his X-Factor icon lit up. He's in the zone. Von Miller's going to sack him. The objective for the Broncos in this game is sack Mahomes, knock him out of the zone. So each team's going to have ways to counter each other. So again, it's, it's, it's authentic football conditions. It's a chess match. It's all that stuff. Exactly. And if you pull that objective off, you knock him out of the zone, then he has to go through his objectives again to get back into the zone. All right. Well, that's a little bit reassuring. Uh, I'm glad that there's some checks and balances that go along with all that stuff. But we all know... And I know you're an offensive guy, but defense wins championships. We've seen what the offense can do. What a, let's talk about the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. Uh, you know who I want to see? One of the most incredible athletes in the NFL, regardless of position, Aaron Donald. What's he all about? Yeah, I mean, Aaron you Donald. You can pop for Aaron Donald. Scary. Yeah, give it up, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is scary. Uh, so I played offensive line when I played, yeah. and I knew I couldn't block him. That's why I'm sitting <laughs> in this chair. 
Uh, so he's reflected pretty well. He's got his own ability called Fearmonger. Okay. What makes him special is when he gets in the zone, he can actually apply pressure penalties to the quarterback even when he's engaged in a block. Typically, those penalties only occur when you're free rush unblocked to the quarterback. He does it while he's blocked. We're going to take a look at some of these. He also has superstar abilities. You're going oh, to he see does. these in the video. There, there was the pressure penalty applied to the quarterback. Right. In addition to that, he has pass rush elite. That's a superstar ability that gives him quicker, faster pass rush shed moves as a pass rusher. And then under pressure makes those penalties he's applying to the throw power and throw accuracy of the quarterback more punitive. So he's a quite a disruptive pass rusher. Because that's one of the things, too. It's not necessarily, especially with somebody who's playing defensive tackle, it's not somebody who's always going out there and getting sacks. It's guys who are going out there and also getting pressure up the middle, pushing offensive linemen into the face of the quarterback. Yeah, it lends itself to more strategy in the game. you got to know who you're playing against. you got to know who you're playing with. Like I said, it's a chess match out there. And then one important note here with all the passing abilities, you said Mahomes seemed really powerful. Putting pressure on the quarterback is going to be the direct counter to a lot of those abilities. And that takes them off their game, and that takes them off of X Factor and everything like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So it's good to have those guys. One of the cool things, too, that I've noticed when you're watching all the, all the, all the play and all that stuff going on is that you've worked really hard to bring these guys' unique abilities to life and put their personalities out there. And that includes some custom animations. So what are some of the examples of these custom animations we're yeah, checking out? These are super cool. We didn't want our superstars to just feel great. We want them to look great, too. The first place is quarterback, cover athlete Patrick Mahomes. We went out and captured these guys' signature passing animations. We have coverage for about six to seven of the uh, most popular quarterbacks in the game. We're going to continue to add to these throughout the year. Aaron Rodgers, quick release. Drew Brees, you know he's always fidgeting right. if you're a Saints fan. And it extends beyond quarterbacks. Everyone knows Zeke Elliott's feed me, getting the team in the there zone. These animations, you know, celebrations, throw styles, it's to connect with your favorite players, connect with your superstars on the field. Well, you saw it. Like, why, why when we saw the thing with Ezekiel Elliott, somebody who's a Cowboys fan or just likes watching him play, that they can identify with. They start cheering and they like seeing that kind of stuff. I don't like seeing Aaron Rodgers leave his feet and throw the ball 90 yards down the field, but whatever. We don't, we don't have to get into that, Khalil yeah, Mack. That's I got all right. It. That's but you right. know what? And we've talked a lot about the new features. What about player mechanics? Because as a player, what are like some of the, the tools in my toolbox, so to speak? Nailed it with the toolbox. All right, I love it, it is. It's, it's kind of what it is. Yeah, we're always looking at ways to add new, new mechanics to the game, give our players more control. There's two that we want to go over today, and they're both for the quarterback. The first is the new scramble mechanic or pull down mechanic. What this does is give you the ability on a passing play to pull down the passing icons with a button press, become a ball carrier, full access to all the spin moves, jukes, ball carrier moves, and then you can bring back your icons, again, with the same button press and throw it at any time. Makes any quarterback a dual threat, brings some skill. Here with Ben Roethlisberger, we're looking at the new pump fake mechanic. You can now pump fake to a specific receiver on the field Ooh. by double tapping the button. You're going to see the reticle come up to get guys to bite on it. It could a uh, dual purpose mechanic. You can also use it to pull down if you feel like you've made a poor decision and you want to cancel the throw, just quickly double tap it, you'll pull it back down. So you can, you know, kind of pump fake it to an outside guy and then check it down to a tight end or something like that? Absolutely. You can even use it on double moves. If you want Juju to run a slant and go, Okay. pump fake it on the slant, take him deep. Oh, that's amazing. And there's, it, it, it just keeps getting better. And, and you know this, you played in the NFL not too long ago, but the game has changed so much in the, in the number of years since you've been gone. We've seen a lot of College coaches come in and they brought in their offenses and most recently Cliff Kingsbury down there in Arizona bringing in his high-powered offense. Kyler Murray, you know, not a pro yeah. prototypical quarterback. He's shorter, but they're going to do a lot of that run-pass option. Are you bringing that into the game? Yes. Uh, super excited to announce that we are delivering RPOs, as they're known. I mean, you know, you can't watch an NFL broadcast without hearing that acronym. RPO. All they talk about <laughs> 13, 14 times, right? So this is a concept taking the entire football world by storm. We actually have three different types of RPOs in our game. We have alerts, peaks, and reads. I'm going to break those down really quick for our players. The first is an alert. That's a very basic pre-snap read. You're calling a running play, and you're going to look at what the defense is aligned in. If you think you can run the play, you just call the play. You hit nothing, you'll hand it off, and away you go. However, what's cool about those plays is you can branch out of that handoff at any time just by hitting the receiver icon and throw it if he's open. So that's a really cool way to be creative on offense. And then there's two other types. The peak, more similar to a read option. You're reading a single defender on defense, looking at his behavior after the snap. If he bites on run, you could pull it out, throw to your receiver. And if he sits back on pass, you just hold the button down, hand it off to the running back, gain yards on the ground. Lastly, the read. This is more like the traditional triple option play. 
You're going to read two to three defenders after the snap, look at their behavior, then decide if you want to hand it off to your running back, keep it with your quarterback, or throw it to the receiver. We actually have over 200 RPO plays in our playbooks this year. 220. That's a lot. That is very impressive. And it sounds like you've built in a lot more flexibility. Are there any other formations or plays coming to the game? Oh, yeah. You're going to see, if there's any Eagles fans in here, you're going to see something cool here in a minute. We got new animation technology as part of our RPO story. So we were able to put in a lot of these cool concepts you're seeing in the NFL right now. Philly uh -oh. Special is in the game. Look away, Patriots see that fans. On the gameplay right here. There it is there right it is. there. We also have a lot of jet sweep touch pass concepts. You're seeing the Chiefs and the Rams, teams like that using end of rounds. You're going to see a lot of fresh, unique content in the playbooks. And the cool thing is... We're going to be updating the playbooks all season long to make sure that we're staying up to date with the NFL. This is all amazing. Thank you so much, Glenn. I cannot wait for this game. And we've, we've dropped a lot of awesome info here about Madden 20 here at EA Play. And I just want to say once again, I'm Adam Rank. If you want even more Madden 20 news, you can tune in to the Madden channel right after this. But before we finish up, though, I've got one last treat for you. Player ratings. They're one of the trickiest things to get right in Madden. Well, in addition to being a game designer, Clint uses his background as a former NFL player to help make sure that those ratings are accurate. And our friends over at ESPN have helped to put together a little video to get us the scoop on the best job in the world, the Madden Ratings Adjuster. Let's roll it. This is good.